Hello and welcome to the Monday, October 3rd, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Friday, I mentioned a new Microsoft Exchange server, Saturday vulnerability. There has been no substantial news about this vulnerability over the weekend. Microsoft now published version two of its Exchange on Premises mitigation tool to make it easier to apply the workaround to block the attack. The mitigation is applied automatically if you are taking advantage of Microsoft's Exchange Emergency mitigation service that was created about a year ago. And just to recap, this new vulnerability exploits essentially the same proxy logon vulnerability or proxy shell vulnerability that has been exploited since March last year. The original vulnerability was patched in March, but the patch only patched the unauthenticated version this new exploit does require user credentials which will hopefully help protect some exchange servers so at this point the best you can do is apply the workaround that uh, microsoft uh, recommended and then of course uh, take a look at any post exploit activity microsoft uh, also published an analysis of attacks they have been seeing Apparently, uh, they saw attacks against about 10 organizations. Uh, these were sort of targeted attacks that started around August. And CISA is warning that CVE 2022-36804, that's a vulnerability in Atlassian uh, Bitbucket, is now actively exploited. However, remember, the vulnerability is only exploitable if the attacker has at least read access to the repository. The vulnerability was patched back in August, and I think I mentioned it back then, but I just want to mention it again because CISA now confirms that uh, this is actively being exploited. And of course, at this point, treat all vulnerable servers as compromised. Transparency, consent, and control, or short TCC, is the Apple security feature that restricts access to certain directories, even if the software runs as a user having permission to access the directory. Affected are directories like the documents or downloads directory. And if you have a Mac, you probably uh, have seen the pop-ups. If some software is trying to, for example, access the uh, downloads directory, it will have to ask for permission. And you can also give certain software full uh, disk access, which means that they are not uh, affected by this particular restriction. Now, this has been a tricky feature, and we had a number of weaknesses in the past that were used to bypass uh, this security feature. The latest uh, weakness was just written up in a blog by Jeff Johnson. Jeff noticed that one application that is often granted full disk access is the terminal application. So all an application has to do is open a shell script in terminal and in order to bypass a TCC. Well, uh, TCC isn't actually technically being bypassed here because after all, you gave terminal permission to uh, access the full disk. But uh, what's really happening here is that the uh, terminal is sort of special in the sense that uh, it is able to execute object code. That's what it's designed to do. It can launch uh, shell scripts and uh, any software that's not sandboxed is able to call a terminal. So uh, that basically pretty much invalidates uh, these TCC restrictions at this point. There's not really any sort of great workaround. Uh, you could just uh, prevent basically a terminal from having those permissions. Not sure how practical that is uh, because terminal often does need to have access to these different uh, directories. You could only use sandboxed applications. Again, not really that uh, practical either. Some software just isn't available in a sandbox uh, version. So at this point, well, uh, TCC still helps, but uh, be aware it's not the end of all exploits. 
Well, and that's it uh, for uh, today. So thanks for listening. Uh, this week, my schedule will be a little bit different. I'll do some uh, travel at the end of the week. There will most likely be no Thursday edition of uh, the podcast. Not 100% sure if I can get a Friday one out. Uh, we'll uh, see, but don't be surprised if there's no Thursday and Friday uh, edition. Thanks and talk to you again for listening. Bye.